Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a hair update because once again I got bored with my hair and I had to do something about it. Today I wanted to show you a little bit of a change that I did to my hair. Since I'm growing out a pixie cut, I'm getting bored of just doing nothing to my hair. And so I did something a little bit crazy. It's not really all over the top crazy, especially since um, I just did a pixie cut a year ago. So I think this is a really small change compared to that, but I still like it and it is still kind of a commitment. I had this uh, once before in my life. No, I actually had it twice before in my life. I got an undercut. Nothing dramatic, you see there's nothing off on my sides. I got it in my nape and I really like that placement because it's easy to hide once you're trying to grow it out, but it's still really visible when you want it to be and I just love how it looks with your hair up on a messy bun or you know even the space buns or whatever. I decided to go to a hairdresser this time. The last time I did it I had my husband just kind of shave part of my hair in my name off and the time before that I had my sister do that for me and we like kind of tried to dye a little bit of a leopard pattern into it and it kind of looked like it, it kind of looked a little weird. So this time I decided to go to a professional, I went to Red Clips. Um, they just did a great job, that's all you really need. It was a $13 haircut so I really can't complain about the price and I really like it, it's just something different. And since growing out a pixie cut is so dull, you can't really do anything if you really want to grow your hair. And I'm also trying to grow out my natural hair color, that means I can't even experiment with coloring. I got so bored that I just had to do something with my hair. And here's just the roundabout view. I really like the undercut, I think it looks pretty great and I am really happy with it. It's not the most perfect design, the lines aren't you know, the, the straightest or anything like that, but I like the messy look, I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to my hair, which is obvious because the rest of my hair is just a huge mess today. But I'm not quite done yet with my hair. I figured I might as well also go big. I am trying to grow out my natural hair color. At least that's a plan for now. Who knows what else I'm gonna do next. But I'm not dyeing the rest of the blonde hair that's still in here in any color. Because if I dye it brown, I've done that before having blonde dyed hair and then trying to dye it back to brown and it just never looks good. The blonde always kind of comes through. I was looking through Pinterest and that is the worst idea that you can ever have. And um, I was thinking of coloring the blonde parts of my hair in a crazy color. I already have a semi-permanent purple color. I was thinking maybe trying to dye it in the purple color and then it will wash out again too, but at first it's gonna be really intense. And on Pinterest, I was looking at hair colors that have mainly brown, like brown roots or most of it brown and then just a like ombre look to it. And so I just kind of want to try that. So here we go. I have this punky color and it is the color Plum in number 1418. I got this at Ulta Beauty and I used it once before, I was just trying to um, use it to make my blonde hair more silvery because it had kind of like a yellow tone and I wanted to get rid of that. Someone told me that I was supposed to put just a little bit of that into my shampoo and wash my hair with it and just let it soak really shortly and then just wash it out like normal. And I didn't really do a little bit. I did a lot and my hair was like almost completely purple. At least I had like this totally um, purple ombre going on in my length. And so um, I was totally shocked and I was like, oh no, but after a while I really started to like it. And then it just washed out like nothing ever happened anyway. So it was a really cool way to kind of experiment with it accidentally. And it wasn't even too purple. At first it was kind of purpley, but really quickly it went more into like a almost pink color. So. Yeah, the outside of the um, box isn't really the kind of purple that it's going to be in your hair for the longest time. So yeah, I'm thinking about trying that out and hopefully I won't hit myself. But yeah, let's go for it. So by the way, when I wear a messy bun like you just saw and I take my hair ties and hair pins out, this is what my hair looks like. So 
quite crazy. The more I'm combing my hair through and see how much blonde there is actually left, the more I'm realizing how purple this is going to be. Especially at first, it is going to be pretty intense. So, um, did I mention that today it's Thursday and on Monday my uh, new semester starts and everybody's gonna think I'm a punk when I come to school with purple hair? Even though it's kind of a modern thing right now, everybody seems to have their hair dyed in crazy colors right now and I really like the pastel, I think that's pretty awesome, so I don't think I'm even going to be looking that out of place, especially at a college, right? I comb through my hair, and yes, my hair is so fine and bendable, and if I have it up in a bun all day, and I didn't even use hairspray today, so if I use hairspray, it's even worse. But if I have it up in a bun all day and then I try to comb it out, this is what happens. Crazy, right? Okay, so just let me read through the instructions again. Outrageous color on bleached or chemically treated hair. Highlight effect on darker hair. Apply with rubber gloves and tint brush. I don't have a tint brush. I'm just gonna have to go with it. Peel back label for caution and directions. Do not use in your eyes or it may cause blindness. Well, that's reassuring. Okay, well, let me see if I have some rubber gloss anywhere. Okay, well, the good news is I found a rubber glove. The bad news is I found a rubber glove. One, not two, just one. So I'm gonna have to somehow figure out how to do this with only one glove. Okay, so what I'm using is just some shampoo right now. I'm still using my silver shampoo and then I'm going to mix some of the purple color into it and then I'll just put that into my hair. I'll get it wet first, of course. Let it soak in for about, I would say, one or at the maximum two minutes because last time it grabbed onto my hair really, really quickly. And then I'll just wash it out and put some conditioner on top of it and then I think we should be good to go. And I'm just using this little comb to scoop out the color because I don't want to use an actual spoon that I would use for eating. I'm going to use about this much. This is probably more than enough, more than plenty, but um, I mean, I want it to be a nice big difference. So this is what the mix looks like right now. It is pretty purple. And now I'm just going to put that into my hair and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I just put the color in. Um, you can already see that it's purple and stuff. It's It looks kind of like a pastel color and I really like it if it's anything like that. I think it's gonna look really cool. Um, I didn't use the whole mixture that I made but I kind of knew that I always make too much of these things. So uh, I'm gonna leave it in for about another minute and then I'll wash it out and see how it looks and if I don't like it, if it's not strong enough, I can always do more. Okay, so I just washed it out and I don't think I um, either used enough color or I gave it long enough to soak in because there is some pastel purple going on but there's also still a lot of blonde in between. So right now I'm just going to do the same thing again and just leave it in a little bit longer. Okay, this time I didn't even bother mixing it with shampoo. I just kind of put the color in. And you can see it is a lot darker. It's a lot more purple now. It looks pretty crazy. And I actually wouldn't even mind if the color looked exactly like that. It would be so cool. And I mean, it's gonna wash out and fade anyway. So you're gonna go through different stages of purpleness anyway. So you can already see my, my skull is definitely dyed. You can see a little spot here, I really hope that washes out, but I think from last time it washed out pretty well on the skin, so just gotta watch that I'm not getting anything into my eyebrows, even though why not, it might look kinda cool. So yeah, I think I'm not gonna leave this in for much longer, because I think that needs to go pretty soon. Okay, um, so I think this time it worked a little bit better. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I just used the color without anything and I didn't leave it any longer in my hair So it really makes a big difference if you mix it or not, but yeah now all of my blonde tips are purple 
And I gotta say, it's my hair is still a mess, and since all the water went to my face and over my shirt and stuff, my makeup isn't on point exactly anymore. But I gotta say, I really like it. I think it looks pretty cool, and it's the first time in forever that I was without blonde completely. So that is something I gotta get used to. I'm gonna try and blow dry these a little bit and, you know, try and comb through them and everything and then I'll show you the finished result. Alright, and this is what my hair looks like right now. It is dry. I kind of um, dried it over the round brush so it creates this kind of bob look but it's falling totally into my face right now. Um, I think it's still super intense so I think once it fades out a little bit it's gonna look even better like the kind of pastel look. But I think it looks pretty cool, it is definitely something else and uh, it's gonna keep me <laughs> distracted for a while from cutting my hair, I think. So yeah, this is my current hair status <laughs> and this is the transformation I went under today and I'm going to keep you guys updated on my hair. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up like this. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you don't miss any news about my crazy hair journey. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.